Good day, ABM Business Math Learners! I am Amieng and again, welcome to my class. In this video, you will acquire knowledge about computing discounts. Are you ready? The most essential learning competency in this video lesson is you, learners, can compute single trade discounts and discount series. Before we proceed in computing single trade discounts and discount series, let us first familiarize ourselves with the key terminologies that we will be encountering in this lesson. First, we have discounts. Discounts, it is a deduction from the usual cost of something, typically given for prompt or advance payment or to special category of buyers. Next is a single trade discount, a type of discount given to the retailer from the manufacturer or the wholesaler. Meaning to say, this discount is a deduction of the price of goods so that the retailer can compensate a net profit from its products. Next is a discount series, also a type of discount that refers to the multiple discounts or chain discounts. It is given to the clients or to the customer for incentive or loyalty discount, cash discount, and volume discount. Let me present first the single trade discount. But before we calculate this type of discount, let us first familiarize ourselves with these terminologies. Capital letter D, it stands for the trade discount. The small letter D is the rate of discount, which refers to deduction of price. And capital letter L, stands for list price or manufacturer suggested retail price here are the formula to be used in single trade discount so for trade discount the formula is trade discount is equal to discount rate times list price for discount rate discount rate is equal to trade a discount divided by list price and for list price the formula is list price is equal to trade a discount divided by rate of discount so we have here an example a pair of shoes list price is 1000 pesos with a trade discount of 20 percent what is the amount of a trade discount so the given or the discount rate which is 20 percent the list price is 1000 so we are looking for the trade discount so for the formula and solution the formula will be trade discount is equal to discount rate multiplied to list price now let us substitute the discount rate is 20 percent multiplied to 1000 so the trade discount is 200 pesos another example determine the list price of an item if a 10 percent discount in the item amounts to 25 pesos so the given are the discount rate which is 10 percent the trade discount amounting to 25 pesos so we are looking for the list price or for the retail price of an item so the formula and solution Formula for list price is list price is equal to trade discount divided by rate of discount or discount rate. Let us substitute our trade discount is 25 pesos and our discount rate is 10%. So the price or the list price or the retail price of an item is 250 pesos. Another example, calculate the rate of a discount if the list price is 250 pesos and the amount of discount is 50 pesos. The given are 
the list price amounting to 250 pesos and the trade discount amounting to 50 pesos and we are looking for the discount rate for the formula and solution the formula will be discount rate is equal to trade discount divided by list price let us substitute so the discount or the trade discount is 50 pesos and our list price is 250. So our discount rate is 20%. Now let us proceed to discount series. Before we proceed, let us familiarize once again with each terminology. Okay, for the capital letter D, it stands for trade discount. The small letter D is the rate of discount, which refers to deduction of price. L is for list price or manufacturer's suggested retail price. The NP is the net price or the last price price of the product after a series of computation in which series discount is applied. Let us try to answer this before we go with the discussion or for the computation of discount series. Suppose we have a discount series of 20%, 10%, and 5% given to an item. Will it be the same as adding the discounts together and apply a 35 single trade discount? Well, the answer is no, because each time we apply an additional discount, our base becomes smaller. Applying a 35 discount directly to the original price would result in a different net price we have two methods in calculating trade discount series the first one is a step-by-step -step method and the second one is by using a complement method let us first discuss the step-by-step -step method for this we have an example Alan will have to buy a set of shoes that lists for 2,000 pesos and has a trade series discount of 30, 20, and 15. Find the net price. Okay. So for this, the formula is this trade discount is equal to list price times discount rate. And for the net price, we have list price minus trade discount. Okay, since it is a step-by-step -step method, let's go first with step one. Okay, so for step one, list price will be multiplied to the next or for the first series discount, which is 30%. So the 30% of 2,000 is 600. Now let us deduct the first discount from 2000 pesos so the remaining price of the item is 1400 now the next step is to deduct the 20 percent discount from 1400 pesos and the 20 percent of 1400 is 280. Now that trade discount will be deducted again from 1,400. So the remaining amount is only 1,120. And for that, we still have remaining discount which is a 15 percent okay now let us get the 15 percent from 1120 so the 15 percent of such is 168 now we are going to deduct this 15 percent discount from 1120 so our net price is 952 pesos okay that is our net price. Meaning, Alan will just have to pay 952 pesos for the set of shoes. 
from the amount of 2,000 pesos. Since step by step is too lengthy to compute, we have another method which is complement method. How to do this? Well, we are going to use the complement of a percent. So what is the complement of percent? It is the difference between 100% and the given percent. For example, the complement of 25% is 75%, the complement of 5% is 95%, and the complement of 55% is 45%. Now, let's go further. Same example with our step-by-step -step method. Alan will have to buy a set of shoes that list for 2,000 pesos and has a trade discount of 30, 20, and 15. We have to find the net price, okay? So the step one, we have to subtract each trade discount from 100. Should be in decimal form. So 100 in decimal form will be 1. Okay, and then let us deduct the 30%, which will be 30 hundreds. The remaining is 70 hundreds. Next series of discount is 20%. So 1 minus 20, sorry, 1 minus 20 hundreds is 80 hundreds. And another 1 less 15 hundreds is 85 hundreds. Okay, for the step two, we have to multiply all the complements together to get the net price factor. Okay, so to get the net price factor, we have to multiply all this, 70 hundreds, 80 hundreds, and 85 hundreds. So we will get the net price factor of 476 thousands. Now for step three. We have to compute for the net price, okay? To compute for net price, the formula is net price is equal to list price multiplied to net price factor. Okay, our net, our list price is 2,000 and our net price factor is 476,000. So the net price is 952 pesos. Same answer with the step-by-step -step method. After giving series of discounts to customers and clients, some businessmen want to know the one single discount rate that equates to a series of trade discounts. This is known as the single equivalent discount. For the formula of SED or single equivalent discount, that will be SED is equal to 1 minus net price factor. Okay, so to compute for the SED or for the single equivalent discount that has been given to Alan after buying a set of shoes, that will be 1 minus net price factor, which is 476,000. So the single equivalent discount for that is 52 and 40 percent. Okay? Now, how much is the total trade discount for such? So that will be list price multiplied to single equivalent discount. So, our list price or the retail price of the set of shoes is 2000 and our single equivalent discount is 52 and 40 percent is equal to 1048 pesos. So, the total trade discount for the set of shoes which has a series discount of 30, 20, and 15 is 1,048 pesos. To check, the list price is equal to trade discount plus net 
price. Okay, so our list price is 2000 The trade discount is 1048 and our net price is 952 So our equation is balance, meaning our answer or our computation is correct. Another example that we have here is, suppose that the BC bookstore offers 15% discount on all items. Miss Denise buys a book worth 300 pesos. And since she is a senior citizen, she gets an additional 10% discount for the book she buys. How much is the net price of the book and the amount of total discount? So the given here, the discount rate 15 and 10, the list price 300 pesos. And we are going to look for net price and the trade discount. From this given, let us compute first the net price factor. Okay, so the net price factor is 85 hundreds multiplied to 90 hundreds is 85 is the complement of percent of 15 and 90 is the complement percent of 10 percent so the net price factor is 765 thousands to compute for the net price so net price is equal to list price times net price factor list price is 300 and our net price factor is 765000 so the net price is 229 pesos and 50 centavos now for the trade discount list price multiplied to single equivalent discount now let us get first the single equivalent discount the so single equivalent discount is equal to 1 minus net price factor. 1 minus net price factor, which is 765,000. Our SED is 235,000 or 23 and 50 percent. Now to get the trade discount, our list price is 300 and our is ed is 23 and 50% so the trade discount is amounting to 70 pesos and 50 centavos thank you so much learners hope you learned much about our discounts topic have a great day and see you in our next video lesson